take these pills, they do what they can do for us in our bodies, but about 90% of the pill ends up being excreted, mm -hmm. either through our sweat or through, uh, you know, when we go to the bathroom. And, and that, that excreted matter, again, whether it's sweat or otherwise, ends up getting washed through our showers, our, our washing machines, and our toilets back into the water supply. And per a law passed in about 50 to, years to ago, water. we clean the water. Mm -hmm. We clean the water to a level that was acceptable 50 years ago. Mm. And then we put that water back into our drinking water systems. And then people pull it out of lakes and rivers and so forth. But guess what? What we haven't taken out of that water in the cleaning process, what we have not taken out, is all those pharmaceutical residues. So we are all drinking, or nearly all of us, drinking a cocktail of minute quantities oh. of pharmaceutical products in our drinking water. That's first of all. Second of all is America today versus 100 years ago is a much more industrial society. So we are drinking in lots and lots of chemicals, thousands of chemicals that didn't exist 100 years ago, hadn't been invented 100 years ago, that are now routinely being put into our drinking waters. <laughs>